We are used to writing mass with the units of kilograms and grams. But in particle physics, when stating the mass of subatomic particles, we tend to use this, mega electron volts over c squared. That's because in particle physics, it's all about mass to energy or energy to mass conversions. So we need a quick way to manipulate numerical values for mass and energy. We can do this by finding a new unit of mass. Starting with Einstein's equation, we can rearrange so that mass is the subject. The unit of energy could be joules, or I can write it as electron volts, EV. In particle physics, we tend to work with a 10 to the 6 order of magnitude for energy in electron volts. So why don't we take that into account by saying that this is mega electron volts? This now shows that energy in mega electron volts divided by the constant speed of light in a vacuum squared is our new unit of mass. And here's an example. If I have 5 mega electron volts of energy, I can create a particle with a mass of 5 MeV over C squared. So it's really convenient because we can put down the same numerical value for mass and energy just by changing the units. Here's another example. The mass of an electron is often given as 0.511 mega electron volts over C squared. We can convert this back into SI units to see if this is correct. 0.511 mega is 10 to the 6. Electron volts into joules is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And then speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Finally, we square this to get 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And that is the mass of an electron.